Hi, I'm Mike Powers, and I just finished my at the table lecture at Murphy's, and I showed uh, many of my favorite items. I think you'll find a lot of items that you can use. There's some killer stuff here. Here's what happens. You open up the straw, and we'll just throw this away. This goes on the salt shaker like this, and suddenly it starts to be animated. <laughs> now you can tell I'm not blowing on it because I'm talking to you, and I can also make it stop. I can make Ooh. it come to, I can make it go this way. Right? So you can do all kinds of things. Stop, come to Papa. And it just <laughs> looks like, you know, there's no threads, there's no magnets. There's also a three-phase triumph routine that's in the hands. It's one of my favorites for walk around. You're gonna like this one. Okay, don't take the bottom card. Okay. All right, take the bottom card. Take any card that you want. Okay. Okay? Yep. All right. And um, place your card back into the deck. No tilt, see? Real shuffle. <laughs> now, that was a normal shuffle. If I riffle shuffled, I could riffle them this way or this way. By the way, that jack of spades is the card I asked you not to take. That's my magic mm -hmm. card. Okay, okay. I'm going to put the face up cards into the face down cards. So we do this. Now, if I push these cards together, we're going to have a mess. Now, look. Some going this way, some going this way. So you can see the condition. If these guys go out like this, look really see face up into face down yeah if i square it we have a situation we'd have to take some time to straighten yeah. the deck out but that's why i have this card this is my magic card if i turn him face down all the cards turn face down just like that <laughs> that's great isn't that cool that's cool okay well, t <laughs> take take whoops i'm sorry take the jack and just place it on top face up even you can do it and now the jack face up all the cards turn face up <laughs> That's we, good. We didn't that, find your card yet. We haven't. Okay. Now the Jack of Spades has a brother. That brother is the Jack of Clubs. Together oh. they have isolated one card. Would you take that out and see if they got the job done? Did yes. It, it did? <laughs> yes. Right. <Knock laughs> That's it. great. Uh, you'll learn a mathematical principle that leads to uh, the 21 card trick, a gambling routine with a seven card stud theme, a uh, mentalism piece. It's really versatile. I'm just going to take a chunk of cards and I'll make uh, some piles. Mm. So pick up any of the three piles and should give it a shuffle. And now take a look at the top card. Pick up some cards from either of the other pile, not all cards, some cards, okay. a random number of cards from either pile and just add them on top of your card. Yep, add them on top. So, no, 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 put them, uh, on put them on top. Yes, put them on top of your card. There's an unused pile Yep. You're going to bury those. Now, this is the one uh -huh. to watch out for. Those cards are going into the middle of nowhere under your control. Pick up some cards from this pile, bury those in the middle. Yeah, like that. Bound. Yep. Because I do this <laughs> for people, and they're afraid to do that because it looks like, how could you find the card? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, that's exactly, that's exactly right. Uh, you can shuffle these up, put them on top. I won't even look or count how many there are. And now we get to the point of subliminal persuasion. I'm going to flash the faces of the cards at you. I'm gonna make sure that they come off one by one. Don't blink, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, my claim is that you know the location of every card in there, including your card. So I'm gonna have you take the cards and you're going to deal cards onto my hand in a moment, face up. And I don't want you to flinch or do anything if you see your card. So start, start to deal, here we go. Ah, stop, right there, okay. I'm gonna say you have not seen your card yet. Right? Not yet, no. I've not seen your card yet. Let's turn these face down. Seeing these cards should have cued your subconscious mind as to exactly how much farther to deal to your card. What you're gonna do is subliminally deal that card in a different way. You won't know it consciously, so don't try to deal a card in a different way. I'll feel it, I'll know when that happens. So start to deal slowly onto this pile. Face down. Yeah, face down, here we go. Hmm, wait, 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 wait. Okay. I'm gonna put this one aside. Deal a couple more so we can be sure. Yeah, yeah, okay. You're back to normal dealing. What was the card that you took? Three of hearts. Yeah, this is the three of hearts. <laughs> nice. I'm Mike Powers. I think you're gonna really enjoy this lecture. I've given you some of my favorite material. Come join me at the table.